Yo, what's going on guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Now we're going to be prepping and painting plastic, aluminum, and steel parts in this video. Uh, just keep watching. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process. Uh, but don't forget to hit up LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com where you can get free auto body training, step-by-step -step guides, uh, videos, and so much more. Here's a physical copy of what we offer as well, uh, but you're gonna be getting the digital version. So what we're gonna be doing in this series here, and stay till the end because you're gonna see the finished product, all the paint, all the parts all painted up looking really well. Um, and uh, we're gonna give, be giving you a lot of tips throughout this video. So stay and watch till the end. Comment down below if you have any questions. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, but what we're doing here is prepping our plastic pieces um, and some metal pieces, the steel caps around the rims, plastic mirrors, uh, the steel windshield wiper. We're sanding everything down, getting rid of the corrosion on those pieces. Uh, with anywhere from, this is going to be painted with a single stage paint. So if you're painting over a 400 grit, that's great. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're sanding all the plastic down with 400 grit. You could go anywhere from like a 360 grit, 380 to 400, okay, depending on if it if you need to take paint off. But here we're still using 400. These are uh, aluminum pieces that go around our rims. We're going to be making these black. Uh, the interior rim part is gunmetal. It looks good. So we're just going to clean those, but these are just sanding down. And there's two ways to do this. You can spray the single stage right over the metal as long as you put an adhesion promoter on it. Um, if you want, you can also prime it with a 2K filler primer, okay, and then sand that down and then paint it. So make sure to get every nook and cranny. We're using 400 grit again. I'm getting, you know, sanding the in inside part here, making sure everything is sanded so when we paint, we don't get any chipping uh, years down the line, <clears throat> okay. So we got our plastic pieces all sanded down. Everything's pretty much prepped up with 400 grit. So after this, we pretty much blew everything down, washed it, and uh, let it dry. Then, uh, then basically getting ready for paint. All right. So today we're going to be spraying single stage black enamel on plastic parts. So we sanded everything down, um, 400 grit dry sand. Blew everything off. I don't normally use glass cleaner, but in this example here, we're gonna use glass cleaner instead of wax and grease remover, which I have in this spray bottle here. Okay, this is good stuff, wax and grease. You always wanna clean your parts before you spray anything on it. Primer, adhesion promoter, uh, or paint. Okay, um, I'm gonna be using glass cleaner. Uh, I like this stuff because it comes out nice and foamy. Right, but we don't want to put too much, just a very light application and then wipe it down. Uh, we have all these plastic parts. We're going to be spraying single stage gloss black today. We're going to tape up these mirrors in just a bit as well. Okay, we're not going to worry about it. We're leaving it. We're even going to paint this rubber here. So many rubber things were painted on this van that I'm not even going to worry about it. It'll just be painted. Okay, so that's the overall idea. Just clean everything down. So like I say in my other VIP videos is if you want to get rid of the plastic texture in some plastic parts, I would 2K filler prime it, then sand it down flat with 400, then paint it. Then it'll look like a regular glossy body panel. But if you're not really concerned about the porous paint texture on mirrors and bumper covers and you just want to paint it, you could just spray some uh, adhesion promoter on it and just paint it.
The other thing you want to do is make sure that you, every time you open up a can of paint, you mix it because you don't know how long it's been sitting at, yeah, at the paint shop uh, or even if they put it in a mixer. Okay, just double check always because sometimes there's going to be buildup at the bottom of the can and you want to make sure you mix that in before you start mixing your paint. This is a eight parts to one mixture. So every eight ounces of paint, you're gonna put one ounce of hardener and then up to 10% reducer. Okay, we got it really nice. And um, we're gonna load our gun. We're using the X27 Atom spray gun. It's a really great gun. Uh, we're using the low volume, low pressure version. With the GunBud Ultra Lighting System, I love it. Um, check the product out. Even if you don't get the Atom X27 spray gun, check out the GunBud on Amazon, eBay, or at Zula.com. Amazing product uh, with hundreds of reviews. Helps you see so much better when you're painting. Um, you're absolutely gonna love it. It's universal, so it fits on any spray gun uh, that you have also. And when painting single stage, the first coat, you're gonna give it like a medium wet coat. And don't be concerned if it's not coming on super glossy, right? That's just how it is. Your first coat never looks complete, right? So you just want to give it a, a first coat. You could even give it a tack coat at first if you want, and then two medium wet coats. It's up to you. I usually just put on a, a good medium coat in the beginning, um, and then the second coat is a little thicker, followed by uh, another wet flow coat, you know, just to because your second coat, your last coat, you always want to flow it on. <clears throat> and then here we're spraying at about 21 to 22 pounds. You, I could up the PSI a little bit more, but it was flowing out so nice, I decided to just leave it at around 22 pounds. Spraying, I'm, I think I'm spraying at around 21, 22 pounds. Um, the thing with the atoms are they spray at such a fine, fine atomization. Even spraying at a lower pressure, it, it sprays out really, really well. So... Normally, single stage, you're going to be painting at 24 pounds. Trigger pulled, that's the, the air coming out of your spray gun. Uh, no matter if it's a high volume or low volume, low pressure spray gun, you're going to be painting at around 24, 25 uh, pounds. But here, just wanted to keep the overspray low. Uh, we're spraying at about 22 pounds, give or take, and it's coming out fantastic. I think when it comes down to painting, you know, you just got to take your time, see what you're spraying, you know, and the gun bud helps a lot.